Alrighty, so last video we left off on Moby Grape, and we're going to be starting out with the heavy hitter band, one of the biggest rock bands of all time. Uh, I have a reissue of this, because I don't think, I, I've never seen an original go online, but I could be wrong, maybe I don't look hard enough, but Piper at the Gates of Dawn by Pink Floyd, um, my... This and Dark Side are my go-to Floyd albums. Uh, Pink Floyd, they're a band I've kind of grown off of. Um, truth be told, I mean, I like them. I'm not as crazy about them as other people are. But this album here is undeniable. Um, stuff like Lucifer Sam, Matilda Mother, uh, Bike, uh, Astronomy Domain. Uh, all just great stuff. Interstellar Overdrive. Amazing 60s album. You gotta have this. Um, get a reissue of it if you can. Now this next one. It's essential to every... Um, every record collection's gotta have this. Dark Side of the Moon. This is an original pressing. It does not have any of the posters or the postcards in it. But it is in very good shape. I uh, finally got rid of the one that was in awful shape. Or at least... Uh, it's not technically a part of the collection anymore. I have it up on a wall frame. So, yeah. Dark Side of the Moon. Original U.S. Next one is related to a band I showed in part one. Blue Cheer. Uh, but this is Randy Holden. Population 2. Uh, and it is autographed. It is actually autographed by him and it's numbered. Uh, this is... Two, uh, this is two, two, eight, seven, two. Uh, I'm not sure how many pressings they made of this, but this is signed by Randy Holden himself. Randy Holden was a guitar player in Blue Cheer, uh, for one half of one of their albums. Not, it wasn't Vince of Disruptum, but this album right here is really cool. Uh, if you are a guitar player, you gotta pick this up, you gotta listen to it. Underrated guitar player, but yeah. Population 2. Alright. I really want an original pressing of this. Uh, in fact, this uh, original pressing of this next one is probably one of the big white whales of my collection. Uh, the Remains. So this is a 2LP set um, made by Rhino. Uh, no, Sundazed. Sundazed is the people that made this. But yeah. Great stuff. Uh, this is a two LP set, um, because the second disc, I think, has some, like, rarities on it. I thought it was, like, a, a mono, uh, it was, like, a different disc, like, a different mixes, but the second one actually has rarities on it. Um, this has, a uh, some, it's in mono, it's in black vinyl. Uh, original pressings of this, they go for, they go for quite a bit. Uh, I've seen them go... I had the opportunity to buy one for 200 bucks, but already sold by the time I got to the store. Um, I've seen it go for 200 bucks. I've seen it go for 400 I've even seen some copies go for $700. Um, rare album. Uh, it's on my want list. It'll probably be on my want list for a while. But yeah, Remains, self-titled. Amazing stuff. Then I have another Remains album. It's from Sundazed. Uh, it's Live, 1969. Uh, this is just some kind of live recording that they did. It is official. Uh, it's from Sundazed. Uh, it's got them doing stuff like Route 66, uh, Hang On Sloopy, uh, Johnny B. Good, All Day and All the Night, La Bamba even. So, yeah. Uh, not essential, but it's cool. It's really cool to own. All right. Next one, uh, Santana. I believe this is their self-titled. I think it's their debut. Don't quote me on that, though. Um, it's got Soul Sacrifice on it. Amazing stuff on here. Uh, don't pay more than eight bucks. But yeah, Santana. Undeniable. Another undeniable one. This is in the Nuggets core, and... Despite the looks of it, it's not an original press. Uh, this is The Seeds, self-titled. Uh, this is a 2009 press, um, but it is amazing. Sky Saxon, that's the guy who ran this band. 
Uh, it has amazing, a lot of amazing stuff on here, like pushing too hard and can't seem to make you mine. Essential, essential uh, 60s psychedelic stuff. 60s Garage. I need to get their second album. But yeah, this is great, great album. The next one. This next one is a very recent find. Uh, Shadows of Night. The Shadows of Night with Gloria. This is stereo press. Uh, would like to get a mono press eventually. And I'd like to get their second album. But this has the big hit Gloria. Um, also has uh, Oh Yeah from the Nuggets compilation. Also has some cool versions of Let It Rock. Got my mojo working. Uh, just a lot of cool stuff. Shadows of Night, Gloria. All right, and then I got two copies of this next one. Uh, Incense and Peppermints. Uh, this one is an original pressing I got, um, I'm going to say about a year ago. And then I have, this is a reissue I've had for quite a bit. It's on blue vinyl. Um, haven't gotten rid of, haven't gotten rid of this one yet. I probably will keep it just for sentimental reasons. It was... Among my first uh, albums I owned. And then, here's a, it's a reissue of their second album, Wake Up, It's Tomorrow. Uh, I like this album a lot. This is probably my favorite album of Strawberry Alarm Clocks. But yeah, do want to get an original of it one day. Probably will. And then... Uh, Strawberry Alarm Clock, the best of Strawberry Alarm Clock. Uh, I think somebody I was dating at the time got me this. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, Strawberry Alarm Clock. Um, again, it's a reissue. But it's, I mean, if I find anything Strawberry Berry Alarm Clock, I'll buy it. They're just one of those kind of bands for me. I love them. This next one's a bit obscure. Um... This is a reissue because original pressings go for about one to two hundred dollars. It's on the mainstream label. I think anything by mainstream records goes for quite a bit. The Tangerine Zoo. Uh, look at that funky cover. But yeah, Tangerine Zoo. They do a version of Gloria. That's cool. But the highlight for me on this album is uh, it's very long instrumental. It opens up side to. Uh, called the flight oh my gosh that's one of that's probably one of my favorite psychedelic tracks ever um if you haven't gotten anything from the from this uh from this part of the video listen to the flight by the tangerine zoo tell me what you think about it and then listen to the whole album whole album is great um uh, i think even reissues of this are hard to come by because when i bought it he, uh the guy was telling me that they don't really make these anymore um so, yeah, it is on streaming, though. But yeah, Tangerine Zoo. And then, uh, next up, uh, if you're music nerds, you know these. You know these guys. Velvet Underground and Nico. Uh, reissue. Uh, I cannot afford an original pressing, sadly. Not right now. Um, I have seen there is an original pressing at one of my local record stores right now. It's like three... It's like 400 bucks. I would totally buy it. Um, I'm just not in the position to buy that. Uh, spend money on that. Not right now, at least. Then we got the second album, White Light, White Heat. Um, this is uh, like a vinyl. This is a European, some kind of European press. It's on the Vinyl Lovers label. And it's on like this uh, maroon, like magenta colored vinyl. It's cool. This album is one that I kind of learned to appreciate over time. Didn't immediately click with me, but uh, I love it now. And then I have, then I have the fourth album of theirs, and what I consider their last album, uh, Loaded. Um, this was on Coalition. I think original pressings of these go for about two hundred bucks. I think it's the most affordable, but I could be wrong. But this was on, this is pressed by Rhino, it's on gold vinyl. Um, this was the first one of theirs I owned. So yeah, loaded. And then, we're winding it down, we got only two more. Uh, the Zombies, Odyssey, and Oracle. 
a craft reissue of Odyssey and Oracle. And this is an amazing psych album. I think this is better than Sgt. Pepper. Um, just great stuff like Care of Cell, 44, Time of the Season, of course, Hung Up on a Dream, This Will Be Our Year. Just a lot of great psychedelic stuff. And then last but not least, I put the various artists kind of at the end of each section. Uh, this is the quintessential various artists album, Nuggets. Originals, uh, original artifacts of the psychedelic era, 1965, 1968. That's the full title. Amazing stuff on here. Um, this is in, I love this album to, de to death. This was in my top 10. Still in my top 10. It's actually risen up in my rankings. I love this album so much. I have, I even have the four disc box set of it. Um, but Nuggets, this is kind of your gateway. This is the ultimate gateway into Psych and Prague. <laughs> not Prague, Psych and Garage. Um, a lot of these bands I've shown in these uh, videos, I learned from this. Uh, this has the Electric Prunes, Blues Magoos. This has the Remains, 13 Floor Elevators, Count Five. Um, this reissue came out last year. Uh, I think it's maybe about 30, uh, 30, 36 bucks. Pick it up if you can. Original pressings are starting to get a bit more pricey. They're about in the $100 range, but pick this up, listen to it. Amazing album. So yeah, that's uh, my psychedelic albums. Uh, I'll be updating more. So yeah.